Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Shwinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. Most of the NEET aspirants, especially the one who are preparing on their own, ask this question. How many hours that they have to spend on their own to study for NEET and get good result in NEET? In this video, I will share a productive daily schedule, daily timetable for NEET aspirants and answer the question how many hours one have to study to get good result in NEET. And note that I will be giving you all ideal daily schedule for NEET. I won't be covering the time that you will be going for coaching classes or whatever co colleges that you are attending, whatever online classes you are attending. It is your job to set this timetable as per your convenience. Remember that you are going to be doctors of the future and your decision will be deciding the life and death of the patient. So think of this as an opportunity to take good hold on taking decision and try to figure out a best way to get maximum result from this timetable. In this timetable, we will be dividing 24 hours into study sessions. In each study session, we will be having two or three hours and we will be only focusing on a particular chapter or a particular subject in the one study session. Okay, let's get into the time of time throughout the day. Let's say I will wake up at seven, seven o'clock and I will fresh up from 7 to 7.30 and from 7.30 to 9.30 I will have first studying session that is of 2 hours and from 9.30 to 10 I will take a break I will have my breakfast and from 10 to 1 I will have study session 2 in study session 2 you will take a different subject or a different chapter or the same chapter itself it depends on you and after 3 hour study session we will take one hour break that is from 1 to 2 o'clock. You can have lunch and take bath now. And from 2 to 5, there will be study session 3. As I said, you can take up a different subject or a different chapter or you can read the same. It depends on you. And from 5 to 6, we will take a break. From 6 to 9, another study session. And from 9 to 10, another break. 10 to 12 or 1 whatever you feel good you can take another one study session every one of you will be having different preferences and different requirements if you prefer uh, studying in night you can take extend the schedule at the night from 12 to 1 or so whatever is convenient for you or if you prefer studying in early morning you can make adjustment according to your requirement in the early morning session, as you will be very active and your brain will be pretty calm, you can take up the subject which require more memorization. In my case, it was inorganic chemistry and biology, especially animal kingdom and plant kingdom and all. So you can take a memorization subject in the early morning and in the afternoon, at least I was getting tired in the afternoon. So I used to take a nap in between. So what do whatever you want to stay active during all during during the day you can take nap you can listen to the music or you can read a book but don't get distracted too much that's what main thing is and in the night you'll be exhausted at the end of the day so take up an easy subject and most importantly you have to sleep at least for seven six to seven hours a day don't compromise on your sleep schedule and i can understand if you are if you have lots of syllabus to cover, you can uh, like uh, sleep for five hours or six hours, but please don't uh, make it very less like four, three hours. Please take care of your health as well as your studies. You have to balance out both. With all being said about a daily schedule, I want to make a special emphasis on this point. It doesn't matter how many hours you study. What matters is how many active hours are you spending on reading a subject or a chapter. Let me explain this with an example. We have person A who studies for only 5 hours a day with complete focus and understand whatever he reads in those 5 hours. 
and on the other hand we have person b who reads for 10 hours a day and he gets easily distracted every couple of minutes so who do you think did best whether person a or person b if we analyze at the end of the day person a reads only for five hours with complete dedication and understands whatever he reads even though the person b reads for 10 hours a day if we cancel out all the distraction and the breaks he has gotten into we will only get five hours and who do you think got the best result out of it person a or person b hope this has cleared the difference that it doesn't matter how many hours you study for a day what matters is how many active hours are you studying for a day how many hours that you are understanding properly what you are reading so from now onwards you have to focus on how many hours you have been studying actively you have been understanding concept properly rather than counting how many hours you are studying for a day you have to focus mainly on complete your, your portions and understanding the concept clearly don't overburden yourself by counting how many hours are you studying for a day and you have to know when you have when you have to cut some slack for yourself don't just overburden yourself and reach a state of burnout you have to balance your studies as well as your well-being you have to stay healthy you have to sleep well along with managing the studies believe me it won't be easy but if it was easy those 15 lakh applicants who write needs every year will be getting into mbbs but only 70000 will be getting into mbbs why what makes you different from them if you want to get into mbbs you need to have consistent effort you need to work hard along with working smart you have you need to have proper guidance and you need to have most importantly self belief self confident if you don't believe in yourself who else will it won't be easy but it is not impossible it is going to be difficult but if you are consistent towards your goal and if you are giving 100% for that goal you can reach that i think that was it from my side hope to see you all in mbbs as a future doctors and hope this video has helped you at least in some ways thank you for watching if you if you have made it till here that's a great and i'm glad that you have made it till here hope you all like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and let me know that this video has helped you and don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel